A new understanding of the genetics of cancer is transforming treatment. We now understand that uh, there are specific molecular abnormalities that can be found in each tumor, in each patient's tumor, uh, that uh, direct the way that we think about how that tumor formed and how we can treat that patient most effectively. A growing number of cancer practices, like Dr. Trevor Bivona's, are sequencing a tumor's DNA to uncover its genetic abnormalities. The aim? To pair a drug with a specific mutation fueling a patient's disease. The lives of, of, of patients with lung cancer and many other cancers have been transformed by this genomic technology, and the reason is because uh, we've used it to deploy uh, more effective and less toxic therapies for patients. So many patients with advanced stage lung cancer uh, who are treated with one particular targeted therapy um, uh, called uh, Tarsiva actually can derive significant benefit and these patients often are able to carry out almost a normal life with advanced stage lung cancer uh, and so it's quite transformative for, for the lives of these patients. Because the cost of sequencing has come down and uh, the sequencing technologies are much more powerful and can identify um, genetic changes in the entire genome of, of, of a human being or a cancer. Um, this allows us now to, to deploy this sequencing technology in a clinical setting uh, for use in patients, in every patient that walks in the door of our clinics. We're finding as we sequence more and more tumors across many different tumor types, lung cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, uh, even skin cancers, that many of the same genes are mutated across many different cancers, uh, and, and therefore drugs that target those mutated genes can be applied uh, broadly uh, in, in many cancers. Although these drugs have dramatic effects and, and, and improve patients' lives almost immeasurably uh, initially, there is a, uh, the development of drug resistance which, which, uh, which occurs in virtually all patients. And that is, a, again, a situation in which we have been and continue to deploy our genomic technologies to figure out exactly how the tumors have escaped therapy and, and become drug resistant. Um, and in many cases, identified additional mutations that can be targeted with existing uh, available therapies or emerging, uh, emerging drugs uh, in, in a combination setting. But in many uh, cases, we're not able uh, to um, reach for an approved therapy off the shelf, but rather a drug that may be approved for a different indication or a drug that may be in clinical trials for a different set of uh, or subpopulation of cancer patients. In that situation where we don't have an approved drug for use in this specific cancer indication or patient, there's a significant challenge to obtaining a drug for use in, in a patient. And, and those are challenges that um, have um, been an obstacle to getting patients therapies that uh, the genetics uh, um, uh, mandate. But such hurdles aren't dampening enthusiasm for what researchers are calling a revolution in cancer treatment. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Linda Freund.